friends, welcome back to my backyard. Uh, as I said, it's spring. Uh, we've been looking at the birds. We've looked up insects, um, but there are lots of other creatures. You can see we have ponds around here. And um, one morning when I woke up, uh, there had been some turtles that hatched, some tiny turtles, and they, they'd been walking across the patio here. Um, and one got lodged up under one of the door frames. So I decided to keep it and I wanted to show it to you guys uh, because it's getting cold tonight. It's not quite summer yet. It's getting cold tonight. And I'm gonna have to release this into the pond, but I wanted to get you guys a good look at it. So you come right over here. You see this, we've been keeping in this tub. There's some rocks and some sticks, but if you look right down in here, Look at this little guy. This, that is a little turtle. You see its shell from the back? I'm going to turn it over because it's really pretty on its stomach. Look at that. This is a little red-eared slider. You can see he doesn't want to poke his head out right now. But we've been keeping him right here for you guys to see. I'm going to put him right back down on this log. And let him sit there. So we've had a, a good time observing him, but it made me start thinking about reptiles. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Welcome back to the library. Like I said, I wanted to talk to you about reptiles. I think I mentioned before that turtles are part of a group that scientists call reptiles. And scientists like to classify uh, animals and plants in groups so that we can see their similarities and differences. And so that's why I wanted to take some time to look at this nonfiction book. Uh, and it's called About Reptiles, A Guide for Children by Catherine Sill, illustrated by Jen John Sill. about reptiles. Reptiles have dry, scaly skin. Look at this rough green snake up in a tree. It has scaly skin. Some reptiles have a hard bony plate. This example is an eastern box turtle. Do you see its bony plate? Reptiles have short legs. Just look at this Texas horned lizard. Or no legs at all, like this slender glass lizard. It looks like a snake with no legs at all. They move by crawling. Do you see this five-line skink crawling along a log? Or by swimming? Here, a green sea turtle swims through the ocean. Reptiles need warm temperatures. Just look at this collared lizard sunning himself on a rock. They hibernate in cold winter weather. Look at this painted turtle. It's buried itself beneath the mud at the bottom of a pond. Do you see the catfish swimming above it? Most reptiles are meat eaters. This corn snake is a good example of a meat eater. A few eat meat and plants. This desert tortoise is getting ready to eat from a prickly pear cactus. Some reptiles use venom to capture their prey. Look at this eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Do you see its rattle at the end of its tail? Do you see its fangs?
baby reptiles hatch from eggs. These baby American alligators have just hatched. Do you see their eggshells? In some reptiles, the mother carries the eggs inside her body until they are ready to hatch. An example is the common garter snake. This is a mom and her babies. Young reptiles care for themselves as soon as they hatch. These baby loggerhead turtles have just hatched and now they're making their way out to sea. Reptiles are important to us. Here is a green anole. So having read that nonfiction book, can you tell me some animals that would be classified as reptiles? Think about what we saw in the book. Snakes, lizards, turtles. There are lots of, of reptiles to learn about. And I hope that this has, has piqued your curiosity. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go let the little turtle go. And uh, it'll get down in the pond tonight and be nice and cozy. And I'll probably see it this summer sunning itself on a log. Hope you enjoyed your time at the library. I'll see you next time. So this is where this little turtle's gonna live. Um, you can see some of the plants he might eat. Uh, there's other big sliders in there, maybe some snappy turtles, some fish. You see all the rushes coming up? I think you'll be just happy here. Thanks for coming to visit, and I'll see you next time.